It won't stay still. The non-Yellowstone supervolcano ignites and shakes America. Yellowstone is one of the world's most powerful supervolcanoes. A single eruption could devastate the national park for miles around, and the damage could spread to other areas if the eruption is powerful enough. Scientists are concerned about the recent activity and the discovery of free-flowing magma beneath the surface. While magma is often the primary concern for researchers, other eruptions in California are also concerning due to the high intensity of earthquakes and the movement of magma beneath the surface. Not many supervolcanoes exhibit this type of activity. This type of natural killer volcano is characterized by its ability to eject material as high as 1,000 kilometers into the atmosphere. The last eruption from this volcano occurred thousands of years ago. Some of the world's most famous volcanoes include Lake Toba, Lake Taupo, the Era Caldera, Yellowstone, and the Long Valley Caldera in California. In the United States, only the Long Valley Caldera and Yellowstone exist. While others are incredibly destructive, like the one that destroyed Pompeii in the past and now has the famous Italian city of Naples right next to it, or some volcanoes in Hawaii, which frequently spew lava. In California, things have changed since new readings appeared on seismometers. A new study by researchers at the California Institute of Technology shows that the Long Valley Caldera in Eastern California is slowly subsiding as its magma chamber cools. This supervolcano last erupted about 100,000 years ago. The previous eruption was so powerful that it covered what is now Los Angeles with nearly a kilometer of ash. The caldera currently appears calm on the surface, but in the late 1970s, it began producing a series of earthquakes and periods of turbulence that caused the ground to rise and fall. Scientists now believe this activity does not indicate another catastrophic eruption is imminent. Instead, the movement is likely part of the volcano's cooling process.
According to geophysicist Zhang Wen Zhan, the release of gas and fluid during cooling can still cause occasional earthquakes and small eruptions, citing the magnitude 6.0 earthquake cluster that rocked the region in May 1980 as an example. To study the supervolcano's caldera more closely, researchers used 100 kilometers of fiber optic tables to act as a giant seismic network. Over a year and a half, this system detected more than 2,000 seismic events, many of which were too weak for humans to detect. The data was then fed into a machine learning program, which produced one of the most detailed maps of the volcano beneath Long Valley. Scientists have also recently gained a better understanding of what's happening at Yellowstone using similar technology. Lead author Ettore Biondi explains that this is the first time such a vast network of acoustic sensors has been able to reveal the Earth's interior structure with such precision. The images show the caldera in stunning detail, not only at shallow depths, but also down to 30 kilometers underground. 